Well, hello there, and welcome back to Russia on Empire 2 Total War. The invasion of Crimea has begun. In the last episode, we fought a wonderful battle here on the bridge over the river, and we pushed them back. And now we shall just be waiting to sort of get this army retrained that fought manfully, and then we'll be sending in the other units. And we've got a fourth stack coming on its way down as well. And then we can start pouring it over the border into Turkish-held Europe. So that's all going rather well. We also, we don't make lots of money, we also have a wonderful little navy over here with second-rate ships of the line and thirds as well. So that's keeping us nice and safe. We do enjoy that. Apart from that, we've got 20 turns to wait for some technology. So it's all, it's all looking rather good for us at the minute. Policies. Everyone's relatively happy. We've got some nice governors. This guy here is a beast. Look at that. Plus 10 to land military technology. Oh, we didn't realize that. We should have should perhaps put a bit more effort into researching some land technology, but we'll see. Do hope everybody's well and enjoying the campaign. We're now moving south. Our victory conditions um, are heavily centered. Ah, oh, here we go. Prussia has come. They've been on the naughty list for a very long time. And they've gone for a... No. Not much we can do about that. All that. Poor Russians. So the Ottomans are now involved properly. The difference this time, of course, being that Prussia will not be able to cope with our navy. So that annoying little stack that sort of hovers outside of St. Petersburg trying to affect our trade. We'll put pay to them. The Tsar of Bells. No idea what that is. Alright, do we have a full army here? Yes, we do. What is that? Well, they didn't destroy any towns. Are you... Oh, we're able to head out and challenge them. Is the Norwegian contingent ready yet? We need one more. Good stuff. So, this time, how do you like it? There you go. Have no trade. You got any other ports? There's one there. Let's go and take that one out. Skadoosh. And we shall capture or sink all of them. So actually, this army here is probably better off served. We've got enough to sort the Crimea out, really. Oh, he's on the bridge and causing a problem. Let's cut off some more of their trade. Are you able to destroy that? A suspicious death. Oh dear.
If we just move in, are you going to intercept us? No, so... Might as well just continue the siege. And see how they like it. Turns until surrender three. Oh, we don't want them to attack this one. We'll send him in anyway. He's going to be retrained. Quickly anyway. So we've got the fleet moving. We've got this gentleman here. What have they got inside? Can you leave Norway? No, Norway is quite problematic, really. Oh, we didn't want to do this. We didn't want to fight Prussia. Then they're just so far away from our victory conditions. They're such dicks. But we ride with our Danish elite line infantry. Let's see what they're made of. We have smaller um, regiment sizes for some reason with the Danes. Probably they're not world renowned for having a large population, but we have to kick them out of Scandinavia. That's the plan. And we outnumber them, so it's it's a nice sort of... We're going to set you up, actually, because your range should just allow us to bombard them. Next three, and finally, last three. There we go. Now you're firing. Yes, you are. Let's see if we can set ourselves up in a logical and orderly manner. front of the cannon when it's firing. Let's have a look at what we're actually doing. Oh, the Free Corps. The Free Corps Line Infantry. Now, have they been sneaky and put in mines and things? I don't know if they have, if I'm honest. All of you are going to be on stand your ground. There's some Saxons. Beautifully kitted out in bright orange. Back in a day where camouflage didn't really mean anything. jog on as can you let's see if we can oh Hussar regiment of Frederick the Great we haven't really targeted anything as well we're probably best off I'll just let them pound away. And we'll see who shall pound the longest. All right, let's set ourselves up with some cohesion. And join the gap in our lineup. He 
You don't think of the Danes as being a particularly effective fighting force after, you know, Viking era. Some Irish. We're gonna. We don't want to go into that forest. We want to shoot them as they come out of it. Whenever you're ready, dear. Interesting units. Look at that. We could almost do with the cavalry being on this side of the hill. So we can charge down into them. Their artillery's gone. Give them a charge, lads. They're wavering, they're wavering. On break. My word. They just there we go. Square. Just while we get our cavalry round the back of our line. What is this? Provincial cavalry. Fire away, boys. Didn't quite work. Go on, sod it. Let's just try and fold them up. Take too long to get round the back of them, won't it? Quality unit. Save the left. Do not retreat. And just pile through. Just push forwards. Favoring the bold there. You can probably come out of square now, for honest. Out. Well, we've got quite a tasty little line here that's going rather well.
problem is the, the Prussians are just so good at warfare. I'm trying to get rid of some of them. Well, there we are. Look at that go. Keep it up. It's just charged the bin. Right, that unit doesn't look like he's coming back anytime soon. So let's see if we can fold, push them up a, a little bit further round. How brave can our horses be? They're broken as well. Super cavalry charge, here we go. I need a bird's eye view because I can't see anything. I think we might be running out of steam here. Yeah. Out you come. Go, go, go. Definitely retreated. <laughs> Why are you shaken? We're winning the battle. It's all going very well. Sorry lads, we're going to have to send you in again. Let's see if we can hit those Frederick the Great. We're just shooting wildly into the forest. Are you actually shooting? Let's move you forward a bit. messing around in the forest where I can't see anything. Regain your composure because you feel like you're about to retreat. Oh no, it's broken! Oh, that's a good shot though. about to shoot these with our own cannon because that probably isn't going to be very helpful. Excellent work. Are you coming back? No, you're gone for good. He must be knackered. Mm, he's gone. 
Don't worry, we've got a ready-made replacement already. It's the rumble in the forest. And you're back as well. Excellent work. Well done for regaining your composure. Get to the last unit. is left. I think that should be the win. Masterful cavalry charge there. Danes proving that they're made of strong stuff. And of course we're so big we don't really care about the trading posts. You're going to go and hold that fort. Look at him. He got three chevrons in his first battle. What a guy. Here we go with again. We might need just to stand. How was the difference? 90. 37 accuracy. Yeah, we might. No, I think it's probably time that we push and turn. Damn Prussians. I think, well, if we build another army, the problem is, can we really afford to upkeep it? Yeah, we'll have to see if we can make way with what we've done. With what we've got, rather. We've had a lot of unprovoked wars. I mean, Prussia are just on the list, as we say. I'd love to know where you think you're going. Right, so they're all... Yuri Rasputin. Fool. Go back inside and wait your turn. That's still destroyed. Right, so we might finally get a chance to fight. Oh my god, they've got the Rhineland as well. Prussia have done quite well. We don't want it though. <laughs> That's the problem that we have. Mm. Are we making a go? Seven grand. Let's go get rid of this fleet. Every ship we have outclassed them. They've got one fourth or fifth rate. It's just, just dead. And we're going to try. No, I was going to say, we'll just try and have like a three pronged attack, but that might be a bit silly. We're going to need to be this way around. So let's have how many four seconds have we got? One, two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll work. I'm going to make sure that we've got the wind with us. Let's 
So you're going to be there and everything looks good. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and cut their line. This one sail down the far side. This one come in and cut it. We haven't really gone with the wind, but once we turn, it will make sense. Well, this one might actually be better if we sail up and then go round them. Yeah, I think that might work a little bit better. We'll just, because we're going against the wind, we'll speed up a little bit. Having a real think about trying to be better at naval battles. want to do like a sharp right and then go back round so if we do that I think we set them up no we can't set Managed to get them in between our two lines. Any escape onto this side, we can fully broadside them with the left cannon, so. I'm quite pleased with how we set this one up. We are shooting ourselves, don't worry about that, that happens quite a lot. Frightened by enemy ship? What on earth are you frightened about? one half of our fleet doing all the close combats and the other one just sort of sailing taking very good shots. This one's gained a chevron, nice. Go on, load your cannons boys. I 
and include you. Oh, he's lost a mast. Double broadside, here we go. We've got another one up there. Let's rip them apart. Here we go, lovely stuff. stage where our lines have to actually cross over. Can't do anything about it though. It might make more sense for this one to now be the close line. And this one to come back down this side actually. Oh no. That's how you want to go. We know we're sailing against the wind, but can't do anything about it. Get ready. Shot. Look at this. It's like pirates in the Caribbean. Hold. those cannons. Oh, we're stuck on him. That's what the problem is. shot my own ship a full broadside not necessarily the best thing we have planned Cannons loaded. Get going. Are you even moving? Well, if you're upset about being attacked from behind, you need to try and progress. Right. Sails are down. Here 
here come the other line as well. And you're just sitting there, it's not really what we asked you to do. If I fire, I'm gonna hit my, I'm gonna hit my own ship. <laughs> Sorry for the friendly fire if it happens. Two loops. This this first our uh, group of ships are sort of now taking on with the wind and going over here. Second ones are going to loop round and have to come all the way back. We're just, but these are the ones that weren't as badly damaged. It was the first group that was involved at the start at such close quarters. speed up some of these. Oh, one of ours is wavering a little bit. What this allows us to do is sort of negates the poor speed that we get. Oh, it seems like he's got away with it. Where's that other line gone? The Brummer or Bruma. So it's really about sort of positioning ourselves so we can take out the last couple. So where are we looking? You're taking bloody ages to get around there, so let's go with the wind. Ability is just done. So we need to make sure that we're not just leaving our ships to be shot at. They've suffered enough. Oh, I don't suppose you got a broadside, sir. Quick as you can. Three cannon. To get both sides up.
Where exactly is everybody trying to sail to? I mean, this group of <laughs> ships is just this one fella sailing off into his own. Russia's Nelson. Absolutely beaten the Prussian Navy back. Are you anywhere near this? Oh, that's good. And when they're past, we're going to do... Oh, so you can now cut here. Make a box of death and destiny. He's on fire. There's just two to go. He's going soon. There's a lot of sailors in the sea. just exploded. Been quite a cinematic naval battle. Never again will the scum of Prussia threaten Russian trade in the Baltic. Never. Just fantastic overall performance there from the Russians. We haven't had a navy that long, but we're making up for it now. That's 12 grand. We can spend all of that repairing our... with 8 grand to spare. Beautiful stuff. So what do we have? Have we moved you? No. You're coming to that star fort. Now generally we don't really care <laughs> about Prussia. We would just like to use you to fill out. No. Or I'll tell you what you could do. We'll take that one off you. So if we just continue on. What are we on? 45 minutes. So this is going to be the last turn of the episode. But 
two resounding victories against the Prussians. I know that in the land army, in the land fight, Oh, we should easily win that. There you go. <laughs> Crimea is done. And now we can think about... So you're quite a modern army. We'll take you with us. One of them has... Elite units, there you go, it's you. Out you go. Oh, you lost your general, that's a shame. We'll just try and make it a little bit better. So what have we destroyed? We need to... we finally got something we can upgrade. We haven't been able to upgrade anything for... Donkey's years. Agents, off we go. Got a lot of archers for some reason. I'm not sure that's wise. That's a trading port. Oh, there's the other rake. We haven't got like a, a research centre that I don't know about. No, we've still got just a two. You need to get there. You're now completely repaired and housed in the Star Fort, so that's gone rather well for us. Mr. Fleet should be retrained by now. So he can come and block that off. Oh, we'll quickly destroy their port again, just because we can. What is that? Oh, well, that's the Hussar unit. This is a mass cavalry army, isn't it? Now, because we are... No, no, do you want a peace or do you want to go to war? No, we'll stay at war then. They are rather large. I think if we take quite a large proportion of the Balklands, then it makes sense just to absorb Poland. Because two of them are our required victory conditions. We've got the Crimea. We needed that. So it's all going rather well. At some point, we're going to have to construct another army. Or just can we not take you out yet? How close are we? Oh, that's so annoying. Plus two to repression. For 20 grand, it might be worth doing that. Just to get us... A little bit more population control. But there it goes. How goes the war in the north? Well, the answer is bloody well, actually. Bloody well. We're probably looking at trying to take the coast now. The three Prussian states, maybe Hanover. I don't really care for the right. I just, I'm nervous we're going to be overstretching. The good thing about Denmark is they can't get anywhere. They have to come through the Star Fort. And that is all to the good. We need, what's that? Paddle steamers, improved coppering, modern ships of the line, improved coppering, that one, 36, 28, oh my god. That's why we're researching the next upgrade for the university. 
But we'll leave it there for now. Crimea is ours. The war with the Ottoman Empire is probably quite close to going. Do we just build one of them? Again, it's that repression and sort of control. What's your population? Byzantine, really. No, never mind. But we'll leave it there for now. We're going to have to kick off next episode with an attack on Königsberg itself and see if we can winkle out all of these awful little horsey units. I've got a lot of cavalry, actually. I do like cavalry, do the Prussians, but... And then it's sort of the march to Berlin. Bump, bump, bump. Three to go. This is their fault. We didn't want the war, but we're more than happy to engage in it. So thank you very much for watching. If indeed you have, do take care of yourselves and goodbye for now.